In this video, I am going to show students how to access the new optional practice problems that were released by College Board and not only how to access them, but also how to use them. So when students log in to AP Central, it will bring them to this general landing page. They're going to want to scroll down and go into AP Classroom for their respective class. So when they go into AP Classroom, it might take just a second to load. And when students are in AP Classroom, what they will want to do is up in the right hand corner, they will want to click on Assessments. And once they click on Assessments, they'll be able to see the assignments that were assigned by the teacher. But then there's also this tab with this green bullseye that says Optional Student Practice. This is where you can access the free response questions that were released by College Board unless your teacher has locked them so that you cannot see them. They were automatically unlocked by College Board so that you could go through and you could practice these questions on your own. So you have all of these different options for free response questions. Um, all of these questions are long essay questions, which means they should take you 20 to 25 minutes, which will give you good practice for the AP test. You'll notice that most of them cover at least two units. Some of them might have content from units eight and nine, but you can still work through um, and do the free response question. So when you want to go into a free response question, you want to click on begin. And once you are in the question, you will have all of the information provided. So it will give you the stimulus and then it will give you all of the parts of the question all at once. When you are ready, you will scroll down to the bottom and you will upload your question. So what these are all having you do is doing all of one problem on a piece of paper, taking a picture and uploading it. So this gives you practice with uploading. When you are ready to turn it in, you will scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says upload your final response here and it gives you the different options for uploading and you'll notice that it actually lets you upload two files. So if you take two pieces of paper. So you'll click on upload files to upload your documents and then when you are done, you will click on submit over on the right hand side. It's telling me right now that this is not answered yet, are you sure you want to submit? So once you've uploaded, you'll choose yes, you want to submit. Now this is a really important box because this now says, see how this question is scored on an AP exam. And then it wants to know if we want to review. You want to choose yes, review, because when you choose yes, review, this gives you the rubric and the scoring guidelines for this question. So this actually lets you see how you would receive the points, whether it's you would receive zero points, one point, or two points based on the criteria that College Board used. And when you have multiple parts like this, you have part A, part B, part C, and part D, you can click on each one and you can see how you were scored and you can actually choose how many points you would have gotten. So this lets you go through, you can click on each part, you can score yourself, and then when you are done scoring yourself, you can actually submit again. So are you sure you want to submit? Yes. And then once you've reviewed it, you can hit submit now. Then it says you've successfully submitted your assignment. And so that's how you can actually go through and do all of these questions yourself as practice.